It actually turns out for some people, dairy milk can trigger the production of folate receptor alpha autoantibodies. Whoa, that's a mouthful. These antibodies can block folate from getting into the brain, and that's the heart of a condition that leads to something called cerebral folate deficiency, or CFD. These antibodies don't affect everyone, but when they do, they can quietly interfere with brain development and function, especially in children. Now, cow's milk is the most studied dietary trigger for these antibodies. That's why some children who have autism and who do get tested and have CFD are strongly advised to avoid dairy at all costs. But here's the tricky part. You can have these antibodies whether you're consuming dairy or not. So that's not the only trigger here. The immune system may have already learned to react that way for other reasons. So just being dairy free doesn't guarantee you're free of the antibodies and vice versa. Should everyone be tested? Not necessarily, but here's when testing makes sense. If a child has unexplained developmental delays, regression, or autistic symptoms, that's when I really recommend testing or considering a leucovorin prescription. Similarly, if a parent is pregnant or trying to conceive and has already had a child with autism, neural tube defects, or known cerebral folic deficiency, testing might offer insight. Additionally, if there's suspicion of PANS, PANDAS, early onset tics, or behavioral changes that don't respond to usual treatments, those are red flags for getting tested as well. What about newborns and pregnant moms? You're right, a baby wouldn't make these antibodies unless there was an immune trigger. But here's where maternal antibodies come in. If a mom has FRA autoantibodies during pregnancy, those antibodies can cross the placenta and affect the baby, even if the baby never drinks dairy. These antibodies last for a certain amount of time and disappear, although they can continue to be secreted through the breast milk. This is one reason why preconception testing in the mother in at-risk families might be worth considering. There's a non-invasive blood test, the FRAT or folate receptor antibody test that can check for these antibodies. It's more accessible than a spinal tap and can guide treatment decisions around folinic acid or leucovorin treatment. If you are exploring leucovorin as a potential treatment for autism in your child or cerebral folate deficiency in yourself, we've created a careful and clinically responsible way to access it, even outside of traditional in-person visits. To see if you or a loved one may qualify for a prescription of leucovorin, visit the Leucovorin page at Philadelphia Integrative Psychiatry and complete our secure physician-reviewed intake form. This is part of our asynchronous care model designed to increase access while upholding the highest standards of safety and individualized medical review. The link is in the description. If you're not ready to start treatment but want to learn more about the FRAT antibody test, which can reveal if the immune system is potentially blocking folate receptors, You'll also find details and test ordering options on the same page. And for those who want to dive deeper, including optimal dosing by weight, current research, risks, benefits, check out my MindVault resource at drdaviddanish.com and I'll be sure to put that link in the description as well. When it comes to this, I'm truly committed to bridging access and responsibility, making evidence-based care available to more families without cutting corners.